One of the biggest NFL games this week takes place at 425 Eastern Sunday afternoon. Baltimore-Dallas, a non-conference game, but a huge matchup for both teams after bad losses last week. I'm going to let you know how to play this game and make some money. A free play between Ravens and Cowboys with analysis coming up in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. And as I said, both teams coming off bad losses last week. Uh, Ravens at home lose as a touchdown favorite against the Raiders. Meanwhile, the Cowboys, five-point home favorite, not only lost to the Saints, but got blown out by 25 points, giving up 44 points overall after a fairly impressive opening win at Cleveland in the first week. And, of course, the Ravens lost against the defending Super Bowl champs at Kansas City on the opening week. So Baltimore now 0-2 straight up and against the spread. And I don't want to say it's a must-win game, but it probably is for the Baltimore Ravens. Hard to believe in a 17-game season we can say Game 3 is a must-win game. But keep in mind, only one team since 2000 over the last 24 years has made the postseason after starting 0-3, and none of them have ever gone to the Super Bowl. And to be honest, even with 17 games now, starting 0-2, you're really up against it. My friend uh, Tom Abraham from ESPN Radio this week pointed out to me that since the 17-game schedule began, only twice out of 21 times has an 0-2 team made the playoffs. So the Ravens are already up against it, yet we've seen a little bit of money come in on them, and they've gone from being a one-point dog to a one-point road favorite. Thing is, I don't know if I can trust this Dallas team after that terrible defensive showing but also not sure I can trust this Baltimore team. So let's look at the total instead. And I think that's where the money-making opportunity is in this game. Over 48 points. Ravens, Cowboys, over 48 is my recommendation at 425 Eastern Sunday afternoon on Fox. Baltimore's offensive line's a little beat up at times, but they've still been running the ball pretty well. And obviously Lamar Jackson's a huge scramble threat. 185 rushing yards in that Chiefs game. And they gave up only 72. Outrushed the Raiders 151-27. to So that does bode well for Baltimore to probably limit a very mediocre Cowboy rushing attack that's had just 160, 170 yards total in the first two games. Um, the Cowboys' rush defense, though, looked really weak last week against the Saints, giving up 190 rushing yards. So I do think Baltimore will have success moving the ball in this game. But Dallas is going to be a pass-heavy offense this season, and in this game in particular. And I think they will have success passing against a Baltimore uh, defense that is very suspect overall this season. Baltimore has become weaker the last few seasons on defense, and I think that's going to show in this game. In fact, they've been horrendous so far the first two games of the season, giving up almost 76% pass completions to their opponents and almost 8 yards per pass, 7.8 to be exact. I look for Dallas to move the ball through the air. I look for Baltimore to move the ball on the ground. It adds up to for points to both sides. Over 48 Cowboys, Ravens, over the total is the best way to approach this game on Sunday afternoon, 425 Eastern, nationally televised in many locations on Fox. Hey, comment below. I read all the comments. Let me know your thoughts on this game. Do the Ravens make the playoffs, even with the 0-2 start? What are your thoughts on Dallas? Do you like side total in this game? What other NFL plays do you like this Sunday? Include some analysis if you have time. Let's learn and earn and win together here on Wager Talk TV. Thumbs up, like if you're finding the free videos useful, and be sure when you subscribe, you click that bell as well for instant alerts so you never miss a free play video throughout the week for college or pro football, Major League Baseball, and of course my NFL Fade the Public video this weekend here on the channel. Fade in the Public 8-4 and four so far the first two weeks, and I'll give you the most public sides to fade in week three here for free. Check that out. Be sure to click subscribe and hit the bell for an instant alert when my Fade the Public video goes live this weekend. Hey, by the way, if you want my official NFL best bets for Sunday, don't miss out. Last week, we went 3-1 and one in college football on Saturday, 2-1 and one on Sunday in the NFL, 5-2 and two last weekend in football. Not a surprise. The past two seasons combined, I'm number one, units one, ATS profit at wagertalk.com. But I know we're talking football, but don't sleep on baseball also on a mere 29-9 run as I record this video. And by the way, the last two games, we lost them both in extra innings. Last two plays, both extra inning losses, and we're still on a 29-9 run. That's how incredible this number one ranked baseball season has been. Number one the last two seasons combined in ATS football profits. NBA starts in a month. Number one all time in profit in the NBA at Wager Talk. And College Hoops had a number one ranking just a couple years ago as well. Hey, it's a great time to try an all-sports all-access. I'll get to a special $800 discount for you in just a moment. But first, to let you know, if you've got football and you want to add baseball, MLB 50. MLB 50 gets the rest of the baseball season $50 off. If you want to add the rest of the football season, college and pro combined, this weekend a special promo code FBALL100. FBALL100 instant $100 discount off the rest of the football season. 
or if you want baseball, football, and basketball, if you want to take a serious investment approach and play consistently each and every day and win long term, the All Sports All Access is the way to go. And I've got a very special price for a full one year package, instant $800 discount with promo code SM365. We had that priced out exactly at an $811 discount because that gets it down to just $99 a month. That works out to just over $3 a day, just over a dollar per play. That's why we did that promo. That's why we did that special discount amount because it works out to just over a dollar per play for every football, baseball, and basketball, college and pro best bet for the next 365 days and nights. Use promo code SM365. Select the one-year all-access and use that promo code at checkout. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Don't forget, if you already have a subscription and you want to upgrade to a bigger package or add-on, hey, just message customer support. They're the best in the business, the friendliest, most helpful you'll find in the business, and they'll gladly give you a credit for what you have remaining, and you can still apply the promo code for the special discount on the upgrade. Once again, check out my page right now. You don't have to memorize the promo codes. They're all listed on my homepage right now, along with my daily best bets and a bonus free play. Get that free play every day and help build your bankroll as well. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Hey, follow me on X and Instagram, at Steve Merrill. You know the deal. Two R's, one L. Two R's, one L. At Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned right here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free betting content coming up next.